Hi everyone, hola and bienvenue. This is a requested review from Shelby Monroe who wanted a what's in my bag slash how I pack my bag about the Palace chain. So here is my gorgeous baby, the Louis Vuitton Palace chain in rose litchi. It's a very peachy kind of uh, corally pink colour. I absolutely love it. Um, this is definitely my go-to bag for whatever night occasion I have, this is the bag I will take. Um, it suits anything remotely decent to high-end events and I just absolutely, absolutely adore her. I just love using it. Um, so yeah, I have packed my bag um, to pretty much its full capacity just for you guys to see just how much she fits. Um, so I just love this bag. The reason is the organization is amazing. I don't think you will find a bag comparable to this um, just for its organizational properties alone. You know, it's unmatched. You won't find a Chanel bag that can fit even near this amount of stuff. Um, a Chanel bag this size and this style will not fit this amount of stuff. This is what's so great about canvas and the design of these pleats. Give it an extra bit of give, as well as there's room in, when you close the bag, which also gives it more give, which allows you to really stuff this bag to its full capacity. So this bag has five compartments, the first one being a dipped compartment, so it makes things very easy to access. So I have my Oyster card here. So you know, being a user of the underground, I take the tube all the time, every day almost. So this is a great, you know, quick access bag because of that dip. I love it so much. And it's aesthetically pleasing because it shows even more of that gorgeous lychee colour. And in the first main compartment, I have the Adele. The Adele is longer in length than most full-size wallets like the Emily, the Zippy and the Sarah, but it is shorter in height than those wallets and this fits easily in here. So I think the Ansolute will also fit in here, probably a bit more tighter, but the Adele easily fits in here without any effort at all. Um, in the central compartment, I love this central compartment. This is perfect for your valuables, your phone, or your debit card, credit cards, money. I tend to transfer my stuff over into this middle central compartment with a secure zipper when I'm feeling a bit drunk because I don't want to lose my shirt. So yeah, I'll keep my phone, of course, in here. This is the perfect safety drunk bitch compartment. Yes, I need that. So perfect going out bag, right? And then we've got my charging cable and my wall charger, because ladies, you never know. And then we've got my accessories pouch that comes with, it actually came with my vintage bucket PM, very old, and these are shorter in height than the toiletry 19 and larger than the 15 but I definitely want the 19 because it will fit more. I've got this bag stuffed to capacity with makeup and a mirror and inhaler and stuff like that and you can put anything you want in it you know condoms, little bottles of alcohol, whiskey, chardonnay, those little pinots, whatever you know anything that's important to you you can put in this bag. Um, then, in the back flat compartment, I've got my pass key to my flat. And then, believe it or not, yes, can you see what it is? Haha, <laughs> it's a full-size hairspray. So let me get that out for you. Yes, I am fucking crazy sometimes. If I'm having a bad hair day, I will bring a full-size hairspray, because this doesn't come in a smaller size. So this is the Got To Be by Swartzkopf. Uh, too sexy big volume push up. Sexy, sexy, sexy hairspray. <laughs> Just got fucked her hairspray, you know, bedhead. So, yeah, that actually fits in there. And obviously, being a compartment, you know, compartmentalized bag and flat, you do have to be careful. You know, 
obviously if you're going to be rushing and ripping things out everything's going to be a bit difficult but it does fit it doesn't really take that much effort to fit this hairspray into this bag you just have to you know treat it nicely treat it kind and things will work out for you so alternatively if you want to carry your glasses in glasses case these are my glasses that I have like literally never worn I have to get lenses for them yet because I don't my sight's not that that bad unless I sit in a lecture and I'm too far away or when I drive I actually don't drive right now but I will need them to see um, signs and father stuff this is from Kata it's a Japanese company I absolutely love these glasses so cute I got them in America in DuPont Circle which is a very famous gay area these gorgeous adorable gay men helped me out they were a couple and for like two hours I tried on so many different friends and they figured these were perfect for me um, because I have large kind of cat like eyes so they kind of follow the frame of my heart shaped face and cover my eyes I actually like the really small square lenses but they didn't they weren't big enough for my eyes and my heart shaped face didn't fit the square so those two lovely lovely gentlemen helped me uh, choose the perfect frames for my face which I'm very grateful for all these years later one day I will wear them with pride definitely soon because I will start driving soon so anyways to pack this you can actually obviously either fit it in lengthwise and as you can see how much room you've got but we will pack it height wise it's just enough it's just short enough to fit in there and to put the stuffed makeup bag beside it. So it's hard to do this with one hand. Here we go. So as you can see, and you still got the Adele there. The Adele has stuff in it too. She's got pen and money and cards in there. Um, check my charger, phone charger. anywhere really. Stick it in there. Okay. And will she fit? She does. She does. So yeah. See, very impressive. Very, very impressive. You will be hard pressed to find such an elegant flap bag in this size that is going to compare and match the capacity of this bag. So I absolutely adore, adore this. This piece is staying with me in my collection for sure. So I'm sorry again, Shelby. Um, like I said in my other video, my um, wet fits and my pochette mitties, I don't have many Louis Vuitton SLGs. I know you love those uh, Louis Vuitton accessories and little uh, leather goods and stuff like that. But I am getting more, definitely. So I just have to wait for them, saving up right now. So I will definitely have more and do an updated um, video on them when I receive them in the same bags that you wanted to see them in. But as you can see, you really can hold so much in this bag. You know, you do have to be strategic in how you place things, but you are given so much to work with. There's just endless ways you can just put things in, you know, ways to put it in. If you want something else in there, you got to put it like um, upwards instead of, slightly, I mean, you got to put it uh, vertically instead of horizontally and stuff like that. But you know, it doesn't really take much of a, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to pack a lot in you just got to try different things trial and error and you realize just how much you can fit in this bag and this is what's really great about it um, alternatively you know because the second and the fourth compartment are the same size you know you can switch your wallet around or you know to save even more space you can just take a little card hold holder or a zippy compact a zippy coin and put it anywhere else to even, you know, make more usage of this bag. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please do let me know. And I hope you all have a great night or day. Love you all. Bye.